Hi, welcome back to Mr. Mentor's ELL Classroom. Today we're going to be continuing our lesson on Chapter 11 of the Blue Book, talking about well, a lot of things actually. This section is about whether you have an S at the end of certain words in the simple present tense. To complete this lesson, you're going to need this page, page 101 from your textbook. You do not need to print it, but you do need a separate sheet of paper. And you'll need this page, page 78 of your textbook. You do need to print this page if you have access to a printer. If you do not have access to a printer, write the answers on a separate sheet of paper. All right, so 101. Here, we're talking a little again about frequency. And we're also taking another look at words that have an S at the end of them, verbs that have an S at the end of them, in the simple present tense. Okay, uh, and the kind of little sound that the S makes, because it varies. Okay, so let's over here. In this box, we have times where an S makes the S sound. Pretty simple. I'll zoom in for you. Let me see here. There we go. All right. Eat, eats. I eat, he eats. I write, she writes. I bark, it barks. We speak, he speaks. Pretty simple. But over here, we have the first box here where it gets a little weird. But you'll notice if you listen, if you listen, it sounds kind of like a Z sound. Read, reads. You know, we say this word, it's got an S in it, but it sounds like reads. So it sounds like an S. Jog. Jogs, call, calls, clean, cleans, okay, and it just, we just, we don't say cleans, we say cleans, it's just how it sounds. Then over here, if you listen, it sounds kind of like an I-Z, these are the ones that usually end in E-S, wash, washes, see, it, is, it isn't washes, it's washes, watch, Watches, so it sounds like an I-Z. Even though it's written E-S, it sounds like an I-Z. Is in English wonderful? Dance, dances. This one you can get away with saying dances a little. Fix, fixes. And finally we have these words. These are again our frequency. When we're talking about frequency, adjectives of frequency. Adverbs of frequency? Yeah, adverbs of Always means 100% of the time. So if I say, I always eat dinner, that means I eat dinner 100% of the time. Usually, usually is not exact, but, you know, about 90%. If I usually eat dinner, and I eat dinner about 90% of the time. Sometimes, about 50% of the times. Again, this is not exact. I don't really like this graphic because it's implying an exact number value for these words, and that's not how they work, with the exception of always and never. But they give you the rough idea. Rarely would be like about 10%, so not much, but a little, rarely. And never is 0%. So if I never eat dinner, that means I don't eat dinner at all, ever. All right, so we're going to have some exercises using those words. So over here. Does Carmen usually study in her room? No. She rarely studies in her room. She usually studies in the library. Okay? So that's what we're going to be doing here. Okay? We're going to be answering no to every one of these questions, and then we're going to say they rarely or usually do something else. So, let's take a look at number one. Does Linda usually eat lunch in her office? No. She rarely eats lunch in her office. She usually eats in the cafeteria, or eats lunch in the cafeteria. Okay? So that's what we're going to be doing. Just like these, we're just going to change it up, so sometimes you're going to say never, Game show is going to use these words in your answer. You've done this before. 
Okay, so again, they already wrote the question for you, so you only have to write the answer. So that's six sentences you've got to write. No problem. Okay, so pause the video now, write those six sentences, then come back to me, and we'll go over the answers. All right, did you pause the video? All right, number two. Does Alan always watch the news after dinner? No, he never watches the news after dinner. He usually watches game shows. Okay. Number three. Does Diane sometimes read the National Star? No. She never reads the National Star. She usually reads Time Magazine. Number four. Does Henry usually wash his car on Sunday? No. He rarely washes his car on Sunday. He usually washes his car on Saturday. Does your girlfriend usually jog in the evening? No. She sometimes jogs in the evening. By the way, I hope you've been remembering to add your S every time. Maybe I should have stopped and stressed that. She usually jogs, okay? The question said jog, but the answer should say jogs. So over here, when you wrote wash, did you write washes? Okay, that was part of the lesson. Washes, W-A-S-H-E-S. -S. Did you check that? Did you check that? Take a minute and check your work. Did you write sometimes reads with the S? Remember, that's why we went over it in the box, because it's in the answer. So I hope you're looking for that, okay? Take a minute. You can pause the video and check your work if you need to, okay, if you haven't done that. Getting back to this. Does your girlfriend usually jog in the evening? No. She sometimes jogs in the evening. She usually jogs in the afternoon. So again, those S's. Make sure you have the S's. Number six. Does your neighbor's dog always bark during the day? No. It never barks during the day. It usually barks at night. Again, barks with the S. Okay? And I said it, as always, if you want to write he for the dog, that's okay. But the official grammar rule is you're supposed to use the word it when you talk about dogs. Let's move on to the next page. So now it is time for an activity sheet. So we're going to do these two at the top and then we'll have a listening at the bottom. So write it and say it. Write the correct form of the word in the parentheses then say the sentence. These are parentheses. That's the parentheses. So Carol sometime, sometimes eats Thai food. Okay. So again, we're looking at those S's and sometimes we have to add, add an ES you got to be more mindful of those, a few words like that, okay? Usually, if you have a bunch of consonants at the end, so the S would kind of get lost in it, okay? So fill in the answers to that. Then, go on to the matching. We've done this before. Read this question. Read the uh, sentence that goes with it. It's not a question, but... So number one, Walter always washes his car on Sunday... C, he never washes it during the week. Because remember, Sunday is the week end. So we say during the week, that means Monday to Friday, but not Saturday and Sunday. So if he always washes his car on Sunday, he never washes it during the week. So it looks like these ones you're going to have to think about a little more, which I like. So it's a, it's a reading and thinking activity. 
you got to think in English, which is always the skill. Okay? And then listening is at the bottom. We will do that together after we check our answers. So for now, pause the video and do the top two sections, okay? So pause the video, do the top two sections. See if I can avoid embarrassing myself here. All right, so number one's pretty straightforward. Did you pause the video and finish the work? All right, so no. Number two, my neighbor's dog always barks with an S in the afternoon. Number three, my son never cleans with an S his bedroom. Number four, Ray always washes, W-A-S-H-E-S, -S, his car on the weekend. Number five, my brother sometimes jogs at night. Number six, Amy usually reads poetry with an S. Number seven, my mother rarely shops at the grocery store around the corner. You remembering your S's? Number eight. Dan sometimes watches W-A-T-C-H-E-S videos on Saturday. Number nine. Omar usually speaks English at work. Number ten. Patty usually plays tennis in the park on Saturday with an S. Also, this also had an S. They all had an S. That was the trick. There was an S on every one of them. Just two of them had ES. Okay, but this one is, I think, a little more challenging. So let's go over this. All right. So let's see I can make sure I get this. So Jonathan never cooks dinner. Okay. That's going to be E. He always eats eats in a restaurant. Because he never cooks dinner, we know he always eats in a restaurant. Number three. Carla rarely watches comedies. A. She usually watches dramas. Okay, dramas are like serious stories. Number four. My grandmother rarely speaks English. She, that's G. She usually speaks Spanish. Number five, Richard usually jogs in the morning. Okay. B, he rarely jogs at night. Number six, Larry never writes letters. F, he usually writes email messages. Number seven, Nancy rarely studies at home. D. She usually studies in the library. And number eight. Jane always fixes her computer. H. She never calls a repair person. You get all those? Okay, I hope you're checking your work. All right, now we're going to finish up with the listening exercise. Listening on page 78. Okay. Listen and choose the correct answer. So number one is an example. So number one, Henry's car is always very dirty. So we circled B. He never washes it because if it's always dirty, then he never washes it. Okay. So you got to think in English, which again I like. So number two, I will say it one time. Listen carefully. And then you'll have a little time to read it and choose an answer, but only a little time. Okay? So number two. My husband sometimes makes dinner. So number two. Did you circle one? All right. If my husband sometimes makes dinner, then A. 
My husband sometimes cooks. Number three. My neighbors play loud music at night. Okay, number three. Which one did you circle? All right. If my neighbors play loud music at night, then B, my neighbors are noisy. It's funny, that one didn't use any of the vocab words from this chapter, but whatever. Number four, my grandparents rarely speak English. Number four. If my grandparents rarely speak English, they usually speak Spanish. And number five, Jane always spends a lot of time with her friends. So number five, if Jane always spends a lot of time with her friends, then B, Jane is outgoing. We can know for sure that Jane is not shy. And six, I rarely study in the library. Did you circle one? If I rarely study in the library, then A, I usually study at home. Alright, that is the end of this video. Good work. I will see you next time.